Christmas, children! Do you remember my name? Gary the Goat, you are my friend. I will let you in so we can play with no air. Ah. The movie begins in 1993 in California, where a young girl is watching TV at home. Her mother gets a call from a man, and they start arguing. And when the girl steps out, her mother instructs her to return to her room. Suddenly, an unseen force pushes her, causing her to fall onto the stove and burn half of her face. The sequence progresses as the mother urges her daughter to call for help, but the relentless force continues to push her, and the scene ends with her screams. The movie fast forwards to present day Metro Manila, Philippines, where we see a woman named Ingrid jogging. Suddenly, a bird in front of her house gets shocked by an electric pole and dies. Next, we see Hazmeen, the nanny of Ingrid's daughter, Laika, watching a video about lost media on YouTube. Lost media refers to videos that are hidden and difficult to find, often appearing as ordinary videos, but shrouded in mystery. Suddenly, Laika startles her by wearing a scary mask and then looking at an angel statue in the backyard. She tells Hazmeen that whenever she sees this angel, she feels safe. Later, as Ingrid is leaving for her office, Laika informs her that her tablet is broken. Ingrid promises to get her a new one when she returns home, but Laika continues to bother her. Just then, Hazmeen comes there, and Ingrid gives her phone to Laika to calm her down and assures Hasman that if the phone gets broken, she will pay for it. Ingrid's son Patrick comes downstairs and starts arguing with Laika for breaking his controller. Ingrid intervenes and instructs Patrick to use the credit card she gave him to buy his sister a new tablet and himself a new controller, and here it is revealed that Laika is his half-sister. Just then, Hasmeen informs Ingrid that Laika has peed on her bed and when Ingrid questions Laika about whether she really peed on the bed and the tablet, Laika, feeling blamed by everyone, storms off, and as she leaves, the lights in the house begin to flicker. However, thinking it's just an electricity problem, they ignore it. We then see Laika crying in her room, missing her late dad and pleading for him to take her with him. Just then, a video on Hasmin's phone begins to play. It's of Gary the goat which instantly brings joy to Laika. In the video, Gary asks the kids to repeat after him. Gary the goat, you are my friend. I let you in so we can play as much as we can. Laika repeats the line, and suddenly, the video appears on her TV screen. Entranced, Laika gets up from her bed and continues repeating the same line as she walks towards the TV. And after a while, she notices Gary the goat in her room. Later, Patrick's girlfriend Margot is at his house when Laika comes there and walks away, ignoring them. Patrick follows her and informs her that her tablet is suddenly working, and during this, Hasmin notices the goat with Laika, to which she replies that a friend gave it to her, and then leaves. After a while, Hasmin notices their dog, Choppy, continuously barking at the goat. Later that night, while with Laika, Hasmin tells her that not only Jesus was born on Christmas night, but also Bale. And suddenly, the lights in the room start flickering. Hasmin continues, explaining that Bale was a servant of darkness when suddenly the lights in the house go off. Laika becomes scared, and just then, Ingrid startles Hasmin, and Laika tells her mom that Hasmin has been telling her scary stories. Ingrid offers Laika the option to sleep in her room, but Hasmin assures Laika not to fear, citing the presence of the Holy Family. Ingrid comments that it's merely a decoration to her, prompting Hasmin to assert that if it's blessed by the church, it offers effective protection. Now, after Hasmin leaves, Ingrid notices the goat with Laika, and just then, Choppy begins barking at it. Ingrid picks Choppy up and leaves him out, saying he has to behave. She then returns to Laika and checks her tablet, only to be shocked by the presence of intimate photos of Patrick and Margot. She approaches Patrick and demands an explanation for the photos, to which he says it's his room, and he deserves privacy. Ingrid asserts that Margot is a bad influence, to which he says she is saying this because Margot resembles the girl his dad left her for. Ingrid slaps him, but immediately realizes her mistake, and Patrick then requests her to leave his room. Hearing the commotion, Hasmin comes out, and Ingrid confides that she was the same age as Laika when they moved into this house, 
They were once a complete family, and she holds fond memories of their time here. That's why she never left this house, even after getting married. She believed she could provide her children with a complete and happy family, but Patrick's father left her, and Laika's father passed away. Hasmin gets up and suggests that perhaps they aren't praying enough in this house, and at that moment, the lights begin to flicker. Ingrid responds that she's been praying for a long time, but it seems that their prayers are not always answered. Later, we see Laika watching a video of Gary the goat on her tablet. When Hasmin hears Laika giggling and goes to her room, she becomes terrified upon seeing the goat playing with Laika. Summoning her courage, Hasmin looks again, only to have the demonic entity notice her and suddenly appear next to her. However, it disappears moments later, and Hasmin flees. On the other hand, Patrick is packing his bags when the entity appears in his room. He hears a sound and catches a glimpse of the entity in the mirror, but when he turns around, there is no one there. Meanwhile, while Ingrid is showering, she senses the presence of the entity but doesn't see anyone there. She tries to ignore it and resumes bathing, but the entity appears behind her and touches her, causing Ingrid to become deeply frightened. We then see a frightened Hasmin praying in her room. After a while, the entity suddenly appears next to her, prompting her to hide under her bedsheet in fear. And suddenly, Laika removes the bedsheet and scares her. The next morning, Ingrid wakes up to the sound of Hasmin's cries, and when she comes out, she is horrified to see that Choppy has been brutally killed by someone. Hasmin explains that she was supposed to feed her, but discovered her in that state. Ingrid blames herself for the incident, feeling guilty for leaving Choppy outside the previous night, and tells Hasmin that her children, especially Laika, should not witness the gruesome scene. She rushes to Laika's room, and finds her sleeping peacefully. However, when she goes to Patrick's room, she discovers he's not there. She calls him, but he disconnects, and instead sends a text stating not to look for him anymore, as he is never coming back. Later, Ingrid informs Hasmin that she's heading to the police station to file a report and instructs her to stay and guard Laika. Hasmin questions if she believes in the devil, to which Ingrid dismisses the idea, stating that such things don't exist. However, Hasmin insists that she saw something strange the previous night and believes the house needs to be blessed. Ingrid asks her to stop, saying she doesn't have time for this, and asks her to call right away if Patrick returns. Later, Hasmin senses the presence of the demon again and declares that she knows he is there. We then see the demon hiding there, and Hasmin commands it to leave, asserting that it has no place here. She then prays and lights a cigarette, challenging the demon by asking if it thinks it will be able to harm the child while she's present. Hasmin dares the demon to reveal itself. This provocation infuriates the demon, and it begins attacking her. Just then, Laika comes out and is shocked to see Hasmin in that condition. She approaches Hasmin and tries to save her, witnessing Gary the goat attempting to kill Hasmin. Hasmin urges Laika to run, prompting Laika to flee, and after that, the demon appears in front of Hasmin and brutally kills her by severing her head. Meanwhile, Margot visits their house, and before Laika can explain anything, the demon appears and launches an attack on Margot. Margot attempts to defend herself and escape, but the demon proves too powerful, hurling her down the stairs. Injured, Margot makes her way towards the door, but the demon reappears and assaults her once more. Just as it's about to deliver a fatal blow, it notices an angel statue and retreats momentarily. However, it quickly resumes its attack, inflicting severe injuries on Margot. The demon then appears in Laika's room, seizes her by the neck, and hoists her into the air before hurling her onto her bed. Meanwhile, Patrick and Ingrid return home and are shocked by the state of the house. Patrick is horrified to find Margot's lifeless body there, and Ingrid rushes to Laika's room and gets terrified to discover the demon inside. The demon advances towards Ingrid, initiating an attack. However, she manages to reach Laika and attempts to flee with her, but the demon pursues them and assaults Ingrid, throwing her aside and inflicting severe injuries. Despite her wounds, Ingrid manages to rush downstairs with Laika. However, the demon attacks Ingrid once more. Patrick tries to fend off the demon, but the demon overpowers and severely injures him. The demon then throws Ingrid aside, and Laika flees and seeks refuge behind the angel statue. And when the demon attempts to reach her, 
The angel shields Laika from harm. Frustrated and enraged, the demon directs its fury towards Ingrid, launching relentless attacks that inflict severe injuries. However, Ingrid notices that the weapon wielded by the angel weakens the demon. Realizing this, she seizes the weapon and engages in combat with the demon. And in the midst of the intense struggle, all three manage to escape the house, fleeing to safety. Outside, they discover Hasmin's lifeless body and suddenly hear the demon scream. Undeterred and determined to confront the demon, Ingrid instructs Patrick to position himself at the back. As the demon approaches, Ingrid initiates the attack, forcing the demon to evade her strikes. However, after a fierce struggle, the demon gains the upper hand, seizing Ingrid by the neck and lifting her into the air. In a desperate attempt to save his mother, Patrick seizes the angel's weapon and strikes the demon, causing it to release Ingrid. Instead, the demon grabs Patrick and gestures for Laika to come to it. Ingrid urgently instructs Laika to run, and she helplessly watches as the demon tries to kill her son. But instead of fleeing, Laika bravely grabs the angel's sword and hands it to her mother. Empowered by her daughter's courage, Ingrid feels a surge of strength, and with determination, she uses the sword to stab the demon, ultimately delivering a fatal blow and saving her children from imminent danger. Thanks for facing the frights with us. If you survived this video, drop a like, summon that subscribe button, and brace yourself for more horror. Until next time, stay spooked.